All right, guys, we're getting there. Got my welding gas, my welder, my helmet. Got to go pick up some wire. This is what I am looking forward to the most on the Iron 6 project. Exciting things are happening. Hey guys, welcome to the Grease Rookie channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Andrew, and this channel is all about my journey resto modding this 1965 Mustang, AKA the Iron 6. Now, I am doing this on a budget with rookie knowledge, which means things like this welder back here, I really don't know how to use. I've used that thing maybe when I was 18, 19, like one day I practiced with it. As I look at it, I should probably secure that tank a little bit better. But I'm learning one step at a time. So real quick, a couple things. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that bought shirts. I was pleasantly surprised, um, was not expecting that. And yes, everything that I make off the shirts is gonna go right back into the channel. Um, honestly, I priced the shirts lower than what they suggested I put them at because you know I, I want to try to be fair um, you know nobody wants to spend a lot of money on a shirt so thank you guys thank you sincerely so much it's gonna be a big help um, real quick secondly I just want to mention this one more time I mentioned in the previous weekly startup video um, Ford Mustang the first generation the early years podcast if you're not familiar with this podcast I'm gonna put the link down below it's a free podcast to listen to click the link you can go back listen to some of the interviews see if you like it they've had a lot of cool people on there like Bill from CJ Pony Parts Barry from Joe Daddy's Garage um, the Mustang medic has been on there and I had the great opportunity to record an interview for it that's gonna be on Monday so it's really cool it's all about the classic Mustangs Moving on. So I do want to take a minute to talk about my welder setup and my previous welder experience because it's not much. But I do want to let you guys know that February is an incredibly busy month for me. I'm going to be traveling for work. So the next few episodes are going to be shorter. But I'm still going to try to get stuff done. But once February is wrapped up, I'm hoping we can jump into it hard and heavy with the welding and really start getting some good body work done on this thing. Okay, so here's the water I'm gonna be using. It's actually my dad's. He has had it for several years. I don't remember where he got it, but boy, it's been a long time. This is what I tinkered around with when I was maybe 15, 16. So he's had it for quite a while. Now, I haven't actually practiced with it yet because um, it was sitting in the garage and it got pretty dirty. So I wanna get it all cleaned up and the wire that um, I would need to use actually is filthy and I do not want to use that. I want to get new wire because I have very little experience. So I want to make sure everything is clean to eliminate any possible scenarios that could be causing bad welds except for basically user error. So that I know everything is good. I'm looking for, I know everything is good with the equipment. Everything is clean. If I'm having issues while learning, I know it's me. The equipment is good. It's most likely user error. That's gonna make the learning experience much easier. Okay, so just in case anybody's wondering, here's how the bare metal is holding up in the garage. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any rust forming. It's been like this for a week now. So I think I'm gonna be okay to start stripping areas of the car and waiting until it gets warmer for me to spray epoxy primer on them. So that's good. That being said, um, we're going to strip the putty off of the driver's side fender. I want to see what's under this putty this episode because this might actually be the first welding project that I take on because I'm thinking with all the, the worse that it looks, it's just going to require cutting out um, your basic cold rolled steel sheet metal and making a little patch for this. So without further ado, I'm gonna grab the angle grinder with the sanding disc and we're gonna find out what's underneath this. So my goal is to take this all off at one go. See if we can do it. All right, so it's looking like this repair 
was actually previously a patch panel that was installed right here, I think is what I'm finding. I don't know what's going on here. We got something, something going on here. So it looks like this was the repair area and this was just the attempt to feather everything out and blend it. So, I mean, I think that's good. That's somewhat promising because I think this could be a great first uh, repair to take on. But anyway, let's grind this down a little more and see what we have to work with. And that dust that just gets thrown everywhere. It's like snow underneath there. All right, round two. Let's just... Just take a look at this mess. Look at this. I'm sanding off this small section. Crazy. You know, when you see these guys doing all these projects on TV and YouTube, one thing they just do not portray, you cannot portray on film, is just the amount of mess that doing these things makes. It's great. All right, so we have this ground down as far as I want to take it this evening, enough to reveal uh, the repair underneath. But before we look at that, let's take a minute to check out this episode's cool car. All right guys, I've been very excited about sharing this one with you. This is a 1966 Mustang that Glenn Walker bought for his son Zachary as a Christmas gift in 2014. He was 12 years old at the time. Glenn writes, the project took a little over three years and we finished it just before his 16th birthday. And he took the driving test in the car. That is awesome. They even sent a picture removing the Iron 6 out of this car. As I said, I was incredibly excited about sharing this one with you guys. I think it is so awesome that Glenn and Zachary were able to complete this project before his 16th birthday. I am sure that you guys created memories that Zachary is gonna cherish for the rest of his life. Huge congratulations to both of you guys. Glenn and Zachary, thank you for sharing. It's a very cool car. Okay guys, so back to this patch panel. Here's what I'm thinking. We have this ground down about as far as I wanna take it this evening, enough to see what is going on here. And you can see that the original patch runs along here. And I think this is gonna be a great first project for me to take on for a number of reasons. One, it's a fairly simple repair to do if I can get half decent at MIG welding. The, there aren't a lot of complex curves here, so blending it in with uh, the body filler isn't gonna be too tough. And also there are these dings and things in around the edge of the fender, which is gonna give me um, good practice using hammer and dollies to, to straighten all this stuff out. So I think this is probably, probably gonna be the first project. Now I, I know in recent past episodes, I've pointed out a few other things I might do first. And part of that is, is I just don't really have a plan together yet. Um, so I'm kind of bouncing around, but this is definitely looking like the best candidate so far. All right guys, just a side note, I did not crawl underneath the car yet to fix the noise that was the brake line hitting the drive shaft that I figured out in the last weekly startup, but I plan to cover that in the next weekly startup. I said this was gonna be a quick episode. That's everything I have for this week. February, as I mentioned, is going to be a very busy month for me. I'm gonna be out of town. Um, but I still want to keep you guys updated and get a few shorter videos up just so that you guys can see the progress. When we get through February, I think March is going to be awesome. I think that's everything for this week. Until the next episode, guys, take care.